Everyone, my name is Spy for GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Mage playthrough. We are officially in hard mode, my good sirs and moms, and we defeated the Wall of Flesh in the last episode, so yeah. Hard mode is among us, and we actually discovered that we don't have a surface halo at all. I mean, yeah, we got the sort of pink ice over here, but this is still ultimately a snow biome. So what we're actually going to start off by doing in today's episode is we are going to create a halo biome. And by doing that, we are going to buy ourselves a bunch of hallowed seeds from the dryad. So let's go down here really quick. Let's go see the woman down here. Let's see what she's got. Right, how much are these things? 20 silver. Damn, son, that's 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 quite high actually. That is very very high indeed. But hopefully, what should happen is the halo should spread reasonably quickly because what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these along a random patch of grass. All right now, the grass of which is going to be on the mountain, which is coming up very very shortly. And then after we've done that, we are going to go spelunking and caving and such to get ourselves. Some palladium and whatnot. In fact, no, before that, we have to go ahead and uh, break some altars, don't we now? Yes, that is something that needs to happen. Right, okay, so apparently you need to... All oh, right, okay, that's fine. So you need to make them into dirt before planting down the seeds. All right, that is absolutely fine. I have no problems with doing that. So let's put that there. I mean, yeah, as you can clearly see, I'm just spreading the hallow about just a little bit at a time. Just to give it, I don't know, give it its legs, I guess. Alright, okay, we'll do this mountain as well. I want it to be reasonably large because I want to have like pixie spawn so we can get pixie dust and all that kind of jazz. Alright, talk about the pixies, I can hear one already. What the heck? I mean, I've only just planted down the damn seeds. How can there be hallowed mobs spawning? Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are! Look at you! <laughs> what are you doing over here? That's so weird. Okay. I mean, I guess that's fine. Oh, look, look at that. See, look, the hallow's already spawning. We have ourselves a hallowed tree. Awesome freaking source. All right, guys, let's go back to base, shall we? Oh, right. Good stuff indeed. Right, where's my hard mode stuff chest? There we go. We can go ahead and put that in there. Of course, uh, way, way earlier in the series, we actually discovered that one of the lizard chests was outside of the temple. So we managed to get ourselves a lizard power cell pre-hard mode, which is very, very rare. At least I've never had it happen before, so that's why I'm saying it's rare. It probably isn't. I might have just been unlucky on that front. But anyways, guys, we are going to go into the corruption. Now, obviously, this is hard mode, so, uh, you know, hard mode corruption can get a little bit on the, uh, um, I don't know, difficult side, I guess. All right, I guess, yeah, one good thing to see is that the corruption is not spreading over here, which is very good indeed. I think my little snow thing is working pretty nicely there, which is, again, good to see. So, let's go down into the chasms. I believe it was the third one we go down to get to the proper place. Uh, right, that's right, I don't have to worry about yeah, I don't have to worry about full damage because I have the old balloon thing. Oh, right. Okay, so we're going to start from the right side and we are going to go through and systematically get rid of every single one. I'm actually going to go ahead and leave one there on purpose. I'm going to leave it there on purpose just in case. You never know when you might need to build some, like, boss summoners or something. There we go. Cobalt, Mithril... Uh, Adamantite. Okay, so we've got the three normal hard mode ores. We haven't got any of the ultimate ones. We haven't got... And what's it called? We haven't got Orichalcum or Palladium or Titanium. We just have the three regular ones, which were in this game before 1.2, I think. So, yeah, there we go. Hanamantite, Cobalt, Mithril. Awesome. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, obviously, one has to remember that every time I break one of these things, a bunch of wraiths spawn. And as you can clearly see, they have. There are a lot of them. There we go. Friendo, you're all dead. Alright, there we go. I'm pretty sure we don't need that many torches. don't want to spam them too much. I will need them. Uh, hello. How are you doing? Oh, they do like 57 damage. Look at that. Damn. Okay, I need to be fairly careful at this point. There's some cobalt down there. Awesome. I might go grab that in a sec. Okay, let's keep going. The more we break, the more ores we're going to get. Now, I'm pretty sure the way it works is at the start, you get loads and loads of ores. But as you go along, you actually start to get lesser amounts of ores. So, I don't know. I guess that's kind of cool. All right. Oh, my God. This thing is so underpowered. I need to use something else. Something else needs to be used. There we go. Yeah, that's some damage. Yay! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> My little water bottle's still coming in useful. Sweet! All right. Let's go over here. Let's, let's just take this guy out of the game. There we go. <laughs> awesome source. All right, there are so many demon orders around here. This is incredible. 
This is amazing. We're going to have so many hard mode ores on our world. It's actually going to be ridiculous. We still have a fairly hefty amount of the underside to go. Look at that. Wraith banner as well. Awesome. <laughs> Look at this. There's so many. Oh, man. I have hit the jackpot with this freaking one. Look at it. All right. All these guys need to die. I'm pretty sure you can get one of the... Uh, is it one of the accessories for the mega accessory? The ank charm? I like how these guys are just hanging around down here. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Lol. Alright, there's some more demon odds even down there. That is incredible. Right, okay. Boom, boom. Okay. Boom, boom. So many altars. Alright, and there appears to be a couple down in that jungle down there, which is kind of cool. Let's just get rid of these guys, because they will try to kill us, of course. Pew, pew, pew. Much pew, such wow. There we go. Keep it going, brother. <laughs> this is so brilliant. I love it. I, I just love the water bowl. Even in early hard mode, it is reasonably good. See, look. It's just, it just does the job. It just bounces off walls and just kills everybody, ultimately. Which is what we like to see. Right, okay. Uh, do we want to go for them? Do you know what? I, I think we're done in the corruption for now. We might go ahead and get them later. But I think for now, we're done, pretty much. God. Oh, God. That guy is going all over the place. <laughs> Did you see that fish? It was going all over the place. Weird. There we go. I'm using such a variety of weapons. I don't know if I like it or not. Right, okay. Uh, there's cobalt down there, but this is getting kind of dangerous. Because, you know, there's a bunch of guys around here. We only have half health at this point. Right, I guess without further ado, we can actually go ahead and start mining some of uh, this cobalt. Awesome source. Let's go ahead and do some of that, shall we? Oh, man. I forget how slow this pickaxe mines things. Mm, now, one thing I haven't really tested before is whether the Reaver Shark is quicker than the Molten Pickaxe. I mean, I know it can mine the Palladium and the Cobalt, but I'm not entirely sure of the speed difference, if any. Okay, and a little bit of torch action up there. Honestly, don't know how much Cobalt I'm going to need to make the Mage set of armor, so we're going to have to try and research that at some point, but whatever the case, we are making a start on our cobalt mining. I guess what we can do is we could just go straight for the top end stuff, you know, adamantite. I mean, why not? If I just make cobalt pickaxes and then upgrade it to a mithril pickaxe and then go from there and just go straight for the adamantite, that would be pretty damn awesome. I mean, it will be an incredible jump in the, in the tier of armor we have. But then again, I kind of want to put the previous tiers of hard mode armor on the little mannequins, just so you guys have it when you get the map download at the end of the series. I don't know, we, we might do that. I might do the mining for the stuff off camera. I don't know. Ah, uh, pew, 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 pew. Much pew. Right, okay, there we go. All right, let's go back to the surface, shall we? We have 36, which is a decent amount. We have mined a ridiculous amount of demon altars, which is again, very, very good indeed. Well, how much have we got? 12. Can we make anything with that? Yes or no? Um, uh, oh, we can make, we can make the mage helmet. That'd be pretty cool. Two defense, set five defense. Eh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to make that just yet. I'm not going to make it. I want to save up my cobalt and gr grab myself a pickaxe or something. That'd be the best idea. Right. Okay. So, where, where's the old cave? So we've got caves over to our right side. We've got this lot down here. This is hallowed. All of this is hallowed. Look, it's all white and pinky. Huh. Okay. So I guess one of the things we could do is uh, kill two birds with one stone and do a bunch of hallowed mob farming down there. Oh, that's going to be so... 22 defense is not a lot on hard mode. So do you know what? I'm actually not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Now, mm, I would normally go ahead and do it so we can get as many things as we possibly can, but I don't feel entirely comfortable having 22 defense in hard mode. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the regular underground biome, and then we're going to go ahead and start the old mining from there. So basically what we're going to do is go down here and then go down into this main cave area here, try to find some cobalt and, you know, get ourselves a bunch of cool stuff. All right. So let's get down here, friendos. Do, 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 do. Oh, cobalt. Oh, God. Hello, little wolf dude. Hi. I don't like you. I feel like you might kill me in, like, a couple of hits. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Right, okay. Now, I think there's only one thing to do at a time like this. I think we're going to use one of these things. Right, let's look for the blue. All the blue stuff in the world. There we go, we've got some already, sweet. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, good lord, there's a guy down there. I don't like him. I don't like him being there. He's going to come up here. Uh-oh. All right, let's, let's kill him. Let's take him down. Take him! Kill him! Oh, there's so many guys. Okay. We all good. We all good. We all good. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Ow! Damn, they do a lot of damage, don't they? Holy crap. Right, okay. Really need to get these cobalt ores things picked up while we still have the old spelunker effect on us because otherwise we're going to run out of time. I can see a very, very large body of cobalt to our right-hand side as well, which is a good stuff. Right, so let's grab this and grab this little wee bit here. And let's go over here and grab some more. Oh yeah. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do the remaining bits of cobalt mining in the form of a time-lapse montage. And I shall meet you guys back at the house once we have cobalt, basically. <laughs> yeah, see you guys in a minute. Ah! Mushroom terrorists again! No, 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 no! I hate those things so much. They suck. They do so much damage, and then they blooming go underground so you can't hit them. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay. You're oh, there's a truffle worm down there. Uh, we don't... No, yeah, we don't have... We don't have the thing, you know, the, the, the net. So, yeah, we can't grab him, unfortunately. I think that might be a good idea for future, though. you guys but I can spot a little gem cave coming up that is awesome I do love a gem cave the only thing is it looks to be a pretty small one as well oh better than nothing I guess what is it, it looks like what is that emeralds and rubies maybe maybe amethyst I don't know man the spelunker potion plays tricks for your eyeballs and the colors so we're gonna have to see what exactly it is let's see how much cobalt we have currently 160 coming up soon now damn still so much to get as well Okay, so let's open this up. Uh, it is amethyst. God damn it. You have to disappoint me, don't you, Terraria? Come on. There we go. There we go. Kill the fat bat. Fat bat's dead. <laughs> oh, dear. There we go. It is sapphire and amethyst. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the colors play tricks on my brain, you jerk bag. Right, okay. Let's go up here, grab some more of this stuff. Man, there's so much, which is, is fantastic. The only thing is, I really wish you could pick up the background walls in the uh, in the gem caves. You currently can't. So if I just try and do it right now, if we just try and do it, look, you, you can't pick them up. They, they just get mined out completely. I mean, I guess one of the things you could do is just make a house around it and just carve it out. But I don't know, man. I kind of like being able to pick up the walls and put them where I want to put them, if you get what I mean. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of disappointed, but you know what? It doesn't matter too much. So, that is one Spelunker potion done. Uh, about five minutes of mining done right there. We have 177 cobalt ore. So, let's go down to uh, ye olde furnace, and let's see what kind of things we can make. I imagine we'll be able to make the pickaxe absolutely no problem, but uh, let's just see what else we can do. Right, 71. Nice. Okay, can we make any magic weapons out of it? I don't believe we can. Okay, let's make ourselves a pickaxe. There we go, regular one. Cool. Well, it does less damage, but do you know what? It doesn't matter too much. Okay, so how much do we have left? 56. So that requires 10. That requires 20. That requires 15. So that's 35, 45. We've still got loads. Damn. Okay, I mean, we might as well wear it, because we're going to get some bonuses out of doing it. There we go. So what do we got here? Increases mana by 40%, 14% reduced mana usage, 9% increased magic crit chance, 3% crit chance increase, and then 10% movement speed. Ooh, awesome. That looks cool. 
The only thing is, I don't like the look of the armor, so I'm actually put these back in the social slot. So in case we want to go ahead and switch back to the old, um, uh, the old space gun, then I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, switch them out like so. Easy stuff. But yeah, 240 mana. Very, very cool indeed. We still have a little bit of time in the episode left, so I might go ahead and try to do some mithril mining now, and maybe we can get straight up to a mithril pickaxe. Who knows? Who even knows? But anyways, guys, let me get on once again with this mining montage, and I'll meet you guys back at the house in just a moment. Oh, hey there, Mr. Wiz. What are you doing, friendo? Oh, this is... The, he's going to be selling me so much cool stuff. Look at this. Mana potions and harps that'll be useful eventually. Spell tomes. Music boxes and ice rod, a crystal ball. You, dear sir, are going to be very valuable to my hard mode mage part of the playthrough. Awesome. Alright, guys. Once again, onwards with the mining, friendos. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what? Are you for real? Pirates are approaching? Oh, Jesus. That isn't good. Oh, man. Oh dear, I actually fear for my life right now. I am legitimately concerned about my ability to survive now. Oh dear. Alright guys, I guess we're just going to go and clear up while we wait for our inevitable doom to come along. Oh Jesus, this is not going to be good. I may have to make myself like a reconnaissance chest. Oh, they've arrived already, you jerk back! Oh god, okay, right, let's put them in my chest. This isn't good. Oh, jeez. Jeez, 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 jeez. I'm going to need a bunch of potions. Let's get these out. There we go. We're going to grab a Thorns Potion, a Heart Reach Potion. We are also going to grab ourselves um, Life Force. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just don't know what will be good right now. Might as well grab them. Uh, where else? Where else? Iron Skin. That's what I was looking for. Fantastic. All right, guys. We're going down. We're doing this. And buff. Oh, Pirates. Oh, jeez! Those guys are not going to let up, are they? Oh, yeah, this is how you do it! <laughs> this is how you do it! Do, 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 do. Uh, the only thing is, I kind of want to be able to get outside. I might have to make myself a very, very temporary way to get out. Because I feel like just standing up here is a bit of a wussy way out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Good sweet lords of the holy Jesus. This is not good. This is not good. I'm a mage. I barely have any defense on me. How the heck am I going to do this? I'm going to have to do some serious killing right here. I mean, look at them. They're dying so freaking slowly as well. So that means this invasion is going to last a fairly long amount of time. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. The captain's going to kill me. The captain will kill me. There is no doubt about it. Uh-oh. No! Oh, Snapples! Heal! Thank you! Oh, God. Did you see how close that was to me dying? <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. I can't get out. I'm going to have to keep going out here or something. Jeez. This isn't fair, man. I mean... Ow. Jerk bag. If I just stay away from the captains, I might be okay. I might be okay. That being the operative word, might. Oh, a cutlass! Okay, that's interesting. Would have been useful on my on my warrior playthrough. It's a godly one as well. Look at that. Damn. Okay, oh god. They're spawning all around me. They're spawning all around me. Why are you trying to kill me? Do, 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 do. Why am I trying to sing that song? I have no idea. Oh, for goodness sakes. Alright, any sign of a cap? I don't want captains. Captains suck. Captains go to hell. Ah! Even out, man. I'm going to have to use my water bottle again. There we go. I've got no choice, man. It's like a ridiculously underpowered weapon against these guys, but it is the thing that's keeping me alive, I think. Look at it. It's just doing its job. Is that a captain? It's not a captain. All right, okay. I don't like captains, <laughs> as I keep saying. Ooh. Okay, what have we got so far? We have a lantern and some other things. Huh, awesome. Right, now the good news is, every time I get hurt, my mana actually regenerates. So, I guess it's not all that bad that I'm getting hurt. But, every time I get hurt, it takes like 50 health away from me. So, it is a fairly hefty amount. Do, 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 do. Oh man, that mana flower is doing its job. <laughs> oh, 
It really is doing its job. And I gotta tell you guys, it's probably saving my life again. Uh oh, Captain! Gotta get out, gotta get out! Gotta get out of here! Gotta get out of here! Keep it going! Oh! Oh! Jesus! That's not good. Uh oh.